Hey everyone, I'm going to do a video on annotations. Got a drawing here, needs some annotations. So I'm going to click on my paper space here in my viewport. And first I'm going to annotate the lines. Now I'm going to hit add labels. I'm in annotate. And then I'm going to hit this right here, add labels. This little guy right here you're going to use all the time. Uh, it'll annotate just about anything. So you start off with your feature. Go line, and then type. I'm going to go single, and I'm going to go bearing over distance, and 100. Okay, there you go. I just click on that line, and there you go. Now, say I want to change the direction. If I click on it, I can flip the label or reserve, reverse the label. Reversing changes the direction. Flip doesn't really do anything on this because of the way the type of label this is. But if I change it to bearing and distance, okay, now I can flip, and flip moves it from one side to the other of the line. Now, let's go ahead and annotate. Let's go ahead and annotate this line right here that's got some sub lines on it. Okay, now I'm going to change this, and I'm going to go bearing and distance. All right, so now I've got my bearing distance for my big line, but I want to put a sub distance for these two small lines. Now, if you go into my paper space here, you can see this is a this is a polyline. This is all one, and it's one line from this endpoint to this endpoint, and I want it to stay that way. So, if I want to annotate the distance from here to here, I can go label type and then go line between two points. And for this, I'm going to go distance only, hit add, and I can click this endpoint, this endpoint, this endpoint, this endpoint. Now, these aren't on the right side that I want them to be, so if I select both of them, and hit flip. There you go. Now, we're going to do one more thing here. We're going to talk about line tables real quick. So, I'm going to go back to my add labels. I'm going to go line and curve, single segment. And then right here where it says line label style, I'm going to change it to line tag. Then I'm going to hit add. So now I click on a line and it's just L1, L2. Now to add the table for those, I'm going to go into my model space and I'm going to click on add tables and I'm going to click figure add line. Now I am going to click add existing bearing distance L100 and then I'm going to select the tags. Two tags selected. And then this right here is the la the table style. And then you can change rows per table tables per stack. There's a lot of modifications that here can do, as well as with the label style. But this is quick and dirty. Alright, so here's your line table. Alright, so I'm going to go to my paper space. Alright, so now you guys know how to annotate some lines. I'll go ahead and show you how to dimension as well. The two that I use, well, I use linear aligned and arc length too, but I use aligned more than anything. So you hit aligned, saying I want to know the distance from this endpoint to the center line of this road. Click that endpoint, I'm going to do perpendicular. Okay, 
Now it says it's 30.09. Now you can move it around. Now I don't know how I did this, but it should be 30 feet. So say I want to change it. I hit D D E D I T. Click on it. Now I can change it. So say it's really supposed to be 30. And change it 30 feet. And say I want to put in right away. There you go. 30 foot right away. Now if you click on it, hit properties, there's some things you can change. You can change arrow types. You can turn these extension lines off that don't really look very good. So now when you move it, those extension lines don't stick from the endpoints of the arrows back to their origin. What else can I tell you? Text movement. This is one I like to use. Move text no leader. You can move the text around and there's no leader. This is very helpful when you have annotative text that's so and so feet, utility easement, blah blah blah, when you've got a lot of text you want to add in there. Oh, okay, and just remember these are annotative. If you choose them to be annotative, they're annotative, which means they have to be drawn at the proper scale for them to show up in the proper viewport.